Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am going to show you what a nighttime routine with these little six month 20s looks like tonight. It is just after five o'clock. Um, they woke up from their nap probably about 25 minutes ago. Evelyn will do bedtime at seven. So we have about two hours to entertain. And I'll walk you through sort of what our evening looks like with twins and what our, you know, our routine looks like. I'm just repeating myself now. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and follow on Instagram because that's where the cute daily content is like halfway to one little half birthday party we had today. So let's go play. Did you just want me to come over here and hang out? <gasps> yeah, yeah, you just wanted mama over here. These things are great. Harper finally can stand. We had it like propped up with pillows for a while, but Hudson, oh, Hudson especially loves it. He's laughing. Oh my goodness, you wanted to say hi? Hi. They'll sit in these for a good amount of time and then I'll put like toys around it if they want to play. What do we have in our toy bin? Here you want. Love every. Oh, whoa. Oh, hi, Bubba. Whoa, what is that? Is that my camera? So one thing I haven't talked about on here is that Hudson has two blocked tear ducts, both of his eyes still, and we've been doing all the things for six months now to try to unblock them. So hopefully he won't have to have surgery eventually on those. I actually had a blocked tear duct and at nine months I did have to have surgery on it. So I don't think it's genetic, but we'll talk to his app pediatrician about it this week at their six month appointment. But if you guys have ever noticed his eyes are really watery or they have little boops, that is why. <sighs> my camera. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, is that the camera? Whoa. We'll do this as long as they aren't crying. Boom, 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 can you put in your mouth? Oh, yay! Oh, buddy, good job. <laughs> good job, Hudson. Oh, wrong way. You had it, you had him on the first one. Okay. Who is that? Alec is up in his office just finishing a little bit more work today so we're just hanging out the three of us and trying to keep everybody happy yeah okay new toys yeah Tummy time today. And then dinner, I think it's ready. baked ravioli which is so nice or like a freezer meal okay right, so dinner looks a lot we just eat here at the living room table we're watching a video tonight harper's here with us she's watching a little tv with us because i can't entertain them both right now and he is on the mat doing semi okay are you okay too yeah we're just trying to get through dinner scarf down food Vodka. Okay, so now I'm pumping for their bedtime bottle before bath. He's turning on us. They just keep taking turns crying. Yeah. You like looking at the camera, I'll just keep this on you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. <laughs> oh, boom, boom, 
bubu. Bubu bubu bubu. Bubu bubu bubu. Bubu bubu bubu. Bubu So funny. I don't know why. I have to do this because Hudson keeps wanting to pull this <laughs> wash rag away. Bath time. They love the they bath. Love a good bath time. They love bath time. So we'll do this. Oh, yep, there it goes. We'll do this for like 20 minutes and they will be very content in here as long as we want to keep them in. And then we do baths every other night. Don't we? Every other night? Yes, we do. <laughs> so I'll sit in the chair here and bottle feed one of them. Alec has like a back pillow. He sits on the floor. I mean, we'll switch sometimes, but usually he gives me the chair. Um, and he feeds the other one. So in their bottles tonight, I gave them two ounces of my pumped milk and then two ounces of formula. One, because I didn't feed them all that long ago, so I didn't have a ton of supply by the time it was pumped for their bedtime bottle. And then um, I feel like if we give them a little formula with their bedtime bottle, it just keeps them fuller a little longer. Okay, now we're going to go turn the lights down even lower and sing a couple songs. I'm gonna spare you because my voice was terrible before <laughs> babies. And since having babies, there's like a whole chunk of my vocal range that's just gone. I can't talk in like a certain range. I can't sing especially, and it's pretty bad, but they don't know the difference. Hi, baby, are you gonna go to bed? Get your little sleep sack. Okay, and that is bedtime for us. It is 7.15, between 7 and 7.30 is when we like to get them to sleep. That seems to work well for all of us. They go to sleep really easy. So we have our sound machines on, super dark in there. We're gonna try to start sleep training them and letting them cry a little bit and then check on them like every few minutes um, because lately they've still just been crying and only will be soothed by one of us picking them up. Usually it always ends with me needing to nurse them back to sleep and I am exhausted because it's like six to eight to 10 times a night. I've been doing this and I can't anymore. So I think we're gonna start giving that a try. But generally speaking, they go down really easy. It's just like waking up during the night. So normally they'll go down and it'll be about three to five hours before one of them wakes up again. Depends on the night, but that's usually how it looks. So. Anyways, that is our evening routine. It looks a lot different than the last time I did one of these when they were newborn. Granted, that was middle of the night. It actually would look kind of similar if I did a full middle of the night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful to just see what a twin mom's nighttime routine looks like at six months. Please like this video, make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram. Whoa, I'm tired. I am gonna see you guys on the next one, bye.